Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, hope everybody had a nice long weekend. And, you know, daily chart of the ES, and what we've seen, let me tighten in one here. Since we got back inside the bands for the entirety of the day and made those matching lows at 32, we've seen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 uh, up days in a row. That is, that's a lot. Even for this uptrend, that, that's a lot. Um, I don't think it's a bear market rally. I think we're past that point. I think when we broke through the middle band, that kind of negated that. I do think it needs to retrace. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you want to retrace here. And what I mean by that is this. If... If you're a bear, you want to retrace because you're tired of losing money. Um, the problem with a lot of this retrace is it's been a short squeeze pretty much all the way up. Um, you know, initially it's people that got leaning too too uh, too short, too far short down at the bottom, and and they got crushed back up to the middle band. Then when we got back to the middle band and over the middle band, then you get into that um, that trend day. Um, dynamic where you've got the weak shorts coming in trying to short the market market pulls back two or three handles doesn't give them what they want it reverses starts to head higher they get squeezed out they cover and buy and we make new highs and we've been we that that was last week that was all last week and what we found last week is we started getting back into the old pattern of having a morning low that was very viable uh, although very fast in most cases, and then that low gets bought and ground up for the majority of the day. Um, I'll be very interested to see how today plays out. Um, is 1840 going to be the short term, uh, you know, exhaustion for this move? And I say, and I emphasize short term. Uh, 1846 half doesn't have a chance. That's not going to be the high. I, I, I am in the camp of we do much higher. But I don't think we can absent a pullback. Straight up to 1846s from here would be 11 up days in a row. Straight up from 1732 to a matching all-time high. That is a recipe for a double top. And, and frankly, the bulls have been smarter than that during the course of this uptrend. They haven't put themselves in those kind of positions. It's the bears that like to put themselves in the, in the whole matching low type of position where things get ripped higher. So um, I'm expecting a move lower in, in the next, you know, just the next couple days. I'm not expecting anything dramatic. Uh, and I expect that low to establish a very definitive lower high versus this area. And if it does that, then you can see it build the kind of fuel that's necessary to make new highs. This move here does not need to take out 1846. I don't want to hear lower high nonsense. Okay? The fact is that it's ripped completely off of 1732, and the minute it made it over middle band, this is all gravy. It did what it needed to do here when it got over middle band and closed over middle band. It doesn't need to get to new highs. It, it's unnecessary. The bulls have done their job and then some. So what needs to happen now is a move lower to establish a, a higher low versus 1732, and then the bulls can, can build on that. Now, if that next move up can't take out 1840, then then that puts the bulls in a position where they need to prove themselves. But that's you know we're we're a little ways away from there. So am I calling the high? No, I'm not. We could go up two more days. I'm just saying this is the functionality of when it starts to come down, and the most logical place where it started to come down based on the price action the last couple of days is 1840. So we'll have to see. So if you're one of these people that's been loading the boat every three or four handles all the way up, 
I would highly suggest that maybe that's not the way to approach things because you've been getting squeezed out just about every hour to two hours in this market and you may want to wait for some type of confirmation that we are headed down. Unfortunately, the best confirmation that we're headed down would be a break of the Friday low and that's, you know, that's 17 handles from here. So you can be short, but you better be small and you better understand that you are very, very counter trend. Okay. Have a fantastic day. Check us out on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Uh, come subscribe to the website. Come and take a free trial to the chat room. We'd love to meet you. Uh, love to, uh, love to have you find out what we're all about and see if we can help your trading. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.